Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now in today's video, Season 5 has just begun. The game has just gone into downtime right now and the patch notes have been released. There's a bunch of amazing and cool changes that are coming right now with Season 5 as well as some other ones that I'm kind of skeptical about. We'll talk about it all in today's video. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Now, to celebrate the release of Season 5, the Battle Pass is actually more important than ever and we'll get into that later, but I'm going to be giving away Battle Passes to my subscribers. Basically, I've been giving away um, codes uh, for V-Bucks to people in the past, and all you have to do to win these uh, this battle pass, or I give you guys V-Bucks, you could technically use whatever them on whatever you want, but I highly suggest getting the battle pass. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, that counts. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button if you're not. Comment down below where you play Fortnite, PC, PS4, mobile, Xbox, and your name, and like the video. I'd really appreciate that. Liking isn't required, but I really would appreciate if you guys could all smack a like. I'll show up on the screen now. These these are some of the previous winners. I've given all of these guys their uh, gift cards to use for the uh, battle pass already, and I'll show some proof of me sending it, um, you know, messages to them and all that sort of stuff. The giveaways are legit. The thing is, though, there's just so many people entering that, of course, you know, I, I can't give every. I wish I could give every one of my subscribers a battle pass. I'm trying to give out as much as I can. I just spent a couple hundred bucks on gift cards, and those will all be going out within the next, you know, little while. I'll be announcing winners shortly um, to, to give you guys battle passes and different stuff like that. So thanks for watching. That would be absolutely amazed if you guys are interested in that and let's get right into it so patch notes are out season five first thing we have to talk about is there's a new updated sort of uh, picture and this picture shows the same skin guy that we saw before but it shows also you know the guy with the mask i made a video on earlier but it also sh shows a new guy which sort of is like an animal skeleton sort of skin a lot of people are speculating this is the level 100 battle pass skin of course we won't know that for sure until the servers are actually up which probably won't be for an hour or two because of how big this update is but i am super duper excited about this i think this skin looks really dope and of course if this is the max battle pass skin of course it's some sort of skin in the game uh, it looks like the battle pass you know they're just going to keep out doing themselves and i think that skin does look really awesome now patch notes first new cool thing in the patch notes is there's a cart in the game you heard me right there's the atk aka the all-terrain cart grab some friends and go for a ride now basically what the all-terrain cart is is it's sort of like a shopping cart but for, it has room for your entire squad. And I'll show the picture up on the screen right now. It gets a speed boost after drifting. The roof acts as a bounce pad. Yes, you heard that right. The roof is literally a bounce pad. So the plays you can make with this thing are going to be absolutely insane. 360 no scope across the roof. Insane stuff. Um, you can work together as the rear passengers to leap over obstacles with the all-terrain cart. Lean back and release at the same time for a higher jump. Lean back by holding S on keyboards or holding back on the thumbsticks for control. So this is like some Mario Kart stuff in Fortnite, and this is gonna take squads to the next level. Uh, you know, everyone's spec uh, you know worried or uh, speculating them adding vehicles. They added the shopping cart, and I'm sure that this won't be game breaking. I'm sure it'll just be something fun like the shopping cart, um, because of course the the thing that keeps Fortnite fresh is that you don't need those vehicles. But they're just something extra to, to add and to be fun. And I think the way this sounds, it does sound like some Mario Kart stuff. And it does sound very fun to use. I'm very excited about the all-terrain cart now into Fortnite. Now, the map has also been updated. With the map update, there is three new locations that are named. There's a new three new or there's one new biome, which is the desert. There's a new location, Paradise Palms, and another new location, Lazy Links. A few unnamed POIs have also appeared across the island. So there's a bunch of different map changes, of course, like we saw at the start of season four. The map basically evolves and it's the same island, it's the same size, but points of interest and everything are changing. Another thing is that rifts are now in Battle Royale. It says, test your courage and step through a rift. You're in for a wild ride. So I'm not sure if this would make you literally tr teleport from one area of the map to another area of the map. This could make the game become like Portal. And this is kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of worried. This seems awesome. I am kind of worried about this. I'm sure the way Epic did it, it's going to be good and it won't be game breaking or anything like that. I'm super hyped about those rifts. As long as all these changes make the game more fun, which, you know, Epic has proven in the past. I mean, the jetpack was one thing that was kind of like, okay, it was fun at first, but then it, it kind of ruined building, and then they were quickly to, to take it out, you know? So uh, I definitely believe maybe these things will just be temporary items, or maybe they'll, they'll be permanent, um, but this seems really awesome. Rifts, test your courage and step through a rift. You're in for a wild ride, and uh, that seems absolutely awesome right there. Now, there's also changes to weapons and items. Most notably, shotguns, and everyone's complaining, hey, my shotgun hits for two, my shotgun hits for nine, my shotgun hits for seven. 
shotguns will now indicate how many pellets hit visible within the reticle. So that's the thing with shotguns is that when you're hitting for low damage, it's usually because or pretty much always uh, it's either because you're at long range or because you're not hitting all of the pellets. Shotguns shoot multiple pellets per shot and that's just how they work. And that's basically how we, it goes with those shotguns. That's how it's going to be. So now you'll be able to see your damage as well as how many pellets hit visible within the reticle. They also adjusted shotgun spread patterns to be consistent with no random variation. So that statement right there basically says that shotguns will be consistent in this game. Hopefully that is true. That's something we obviously really, really want to see and um, sh making shotguns, which are a staple in this game and are so damn important, consistent, I think is a major, major key. Next thing is that the heavy shotgun now fires 10 pellets instead of five, but the max damage for the heavy shotgun remains unchanged. So this is kind of confusing. It shoots more pellets, but it does the same damage. So I think this is a nerf to the heavy shotgun for the fact that it's harder to hit 10 pellets than before you just have to hit five pellets and you get the max damage. Now you have to hit 10 to get the max damage. I believe that is a nerf. And we'll have to wait and see how that actually affects in game. Also, they said after firing a shotgun, another shotgun cannot be fired for a very short time. This, of course, to nerf the double pump on PC trick, I think, and also the double heavy, which was you didn't even need a trick. It was just boom, 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 boom. I think that's why those nerfs are coming in for that. Also, reduced hunting rifle aim assist when targeting to match that of other sniper rifles. So a little bit of a nerf to the hunting rifle with the, on console because of the aim assist, um, which kind of sucks because I was a big fan of that. But hopefully people will get less lucky shots in on you and it will be more skill based. Um, change the damage drop off profile for the suppressed SMG to be the same as other SMGs. Fall off starts at 24 meters from 28 meters. Damage reduced to 80% at 35 meters from 85% and damage reduced to 65% for uh, 50 plus meters from 70 75%. So basically, the suppressed SMG was there was rumors and it was going around that this was like one of the best guns in the game. And as of right now, it's been hit pretty decently with a uh, pretty good nerf, I would say. Um, and that's what we're going to see as far as uh, that changes come with the actual go kart. Um, and those are the changes that we have with that. Um, pretty cool stuff with the go kart, with the shotgun changes, with the map changes. And that's pretty much the main stuff when it comes to uh, this game. Also, we also have some other changes here. Um, basically, this is the most important the center of storm circles seven eight and nine can now shift in random directions as the storm closes in it will move and shrink to a new location which is kind of exciting for those late game fights so people have to be on the move instead of just building the base and sort of hiding and then starting in season five progressive challenges will no longer be restricted to a single season you can now complete progressive challenges at your own pace so i'm not sure if this means starting in season five and then it'll affect next season or if this means when the season starts we'll still have season four challenges i hope that's what it means i'm not sure though it sounds like it might mean in the future also this is this is the one thing i'm worried about with these updates is that progressive challenges are are, are now changed basically they they will no longer uh basically they've been no longer restricted to a single season right but the weekly challenges are now split into two sections free and battle pass so i guess the progressive challenges are different from the uh weekly challenges so those are more for getting your levels and different stuff like that i guess they're trying to go higher than level 100 so i'm kind of confused on that but then weekly challenges are split into two sections free and battle pass now this is kind of bad they obviously want more people to get the battle pass they want to make more money which is understandable the for basically every week there's seven challenges right and before anyone could do all seven of them you would just get bigger rewards if you had the battle pass but now the first three challenges are available for free and the last Last four are only available to people who own the battle pass. The threshold to unlock the weekly challenge reward will, will remain at four. So basically to complete all of the challenges and the hard ones, you are going to have to purchase the battle pass, which does cost around $10. And that's why I'm going to be giving away as many of them as I can. Of course, um, I showed you guys at the start of the video and talked about the giveaway, um, but this is kind of unfortunate. It means that I love to do challenge videos. I like everyone to be included in those, of course, and hopefully this doesn't affect that. Hopefully some of those free challenges are still super cool ones and maybe some of those free free ones will include the treasure maps and stuff like that but of course obviously this is not really selling out but it's a way to get more money and more revenue into fortnite's pockets and that's what they're absolutely doing which does make sense um but i guess that's what they're doing right there and uh, that's about it guys if you guys could drop a like on this video i would really appreciate that that's everything you guys need to know about season five leaks are still coming out everything is still changing right now um more you know more locations more everything is going to be seen as uh, you know everything comes out of course the servers will probably be down for an hour two maybe even a couple more hours than that and then i'll be doing 
doing the battle pass, doing the challenges, and everything will be going on a roll. But the new, I want to get this video out to talk about the new go kart as well as everything in the patch notes. Some pretty cool stuff. If you guys could drop a like, that would be amazing. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as I get this victory royale right here on the last two people in a duo. And uh, that's about it, guys. Have a great night. More videos to come, man. So make sure you guys are subscribing, and I'm out. Peace.